they talk about lament and they say that, you know, I can actually be angry with God and I can actually voice my issues with him and things like that. And to an extent, that's right. But I'm worried about the heart they're talking about. So he doesn't call people that are already qualified. Yeah, that's right. right. And I thought about how, who are we to know what is the qualifying moment? And maybe my experiences with these people in ministry and leadership mm -hmm. was the qualifying moment that was ironing out their issues yeah. for their purpose, right? right? And so that's what's helped me to stay focused on the God of it mm. and not the man. Mm. Um, and so I've been able to still stay committed to Christ. Yeah, wow. Wow. Um, that's just, grace. Yeah. Extend, yes, that's grace. And extending that grace. You know, is you're like you're currently wrestling through just that tension. That's a real tension, a distrust for leadership. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's a real thing. Yeah. Um, we're both I leaders. I got some of that. Yeah, I yeah. got some of that. <laughs> <laughs> we're both leaders. Yeah. And we have distrust from uh, leadership. Also, I don't, I'm not going to speak for you, but even jaded. Yeah. Towards Me. That's a good word. Me. <laughs> <laughs> There's a jadedness. Yeah. And, and, and like the difference and why this episode is more of an inverted deconstruction story, because the deconstruction story, uh, you know, more popularized, I'm sure people have different definitions for it, things like that. But mm -hmm. the more popular versions seem to glorify the ability to reject it all. Yeah. Yeah. And they use the pain as the justification. Yeah. Um, and, and even in that, the, some of the conversations I hear about lament. So the, for the people who reject it all, but still even maintain the title of Christian, uh, you'll typically find those to be progressive Christians, really. But, uh, yeah. I mean, they talk about lament and they say that, you know, I can actually be angry with God and I can actually voice my issues with him and things like that. And to an extent, that's right. But I'm worried about the heart they're talking about. Right. Yeah. Because there's an arrogance and then there's a trust. Right. Right. Where it's like, Lord, I trust you with my anger, my confusion, even my temptation yeah. to walk away. I'm trusting you with it because I don't want to take it anywhere else. That's quite different. I think about Habakkuk. Uh, it starts by saying, oh, Lord, how long shall I cry for you and you won't hear? I cry to you violence and you have not saved. Uh, but it ends this way. Though the fig tree should not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, the produce of the olive fail, and the fields yield no food. The flock be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord, and I will take joy in the God of my salvation. That's after him going to the Lord with the light. Lord, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. 